The data analyst job market is about to get brutal. And if you're still learning the same skills everyone else was learning back in 2020, grinding through the same Google certificates, building the same Netflix dashboards that every recruiter has seen a thousand times, you're not just falling behind, you are becoming invisible. But here's what no one else is telling you. It's not that there aren't enough jobs, there's plenty of them. The problem, companies don't want what you're offering anymore. See, while you've been stacking certificates, watching tutorials, the entire game has changed. And in the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you exactly why the traditional path is broken, what skills actually matter right now, and the three-step framework that separates analysts making 50K a year to those making 150K plus and landing jobs on autopilot. And no, it has nothing to do with learning more tools. I've helped over a thousand other career changers land high-paying roles in data analytics by teaching them what hiring managers are actually looking for in today's job market, not what colleges and courses sell. So let's dive in. All right, so let's start with the uncomfortable truth that keeps many people stuck. Everyone says there's no more data analyst jobs, no one's hiring. But you know what I see every single week? People come to me saying that, hey, Kadisha, I applied to 500 jobs. I had a Google cert. I know SQL. I know Python. I know every single statistic in the book. Why am I not getting interviews? Well, when I look at their portfolios, if they even have one, their resumes, their LinkedIn profiles, I see the exact same problem every time. They can't pass SQL screens. They can't explain what a KPI means or why it matters. And they aren't telling a data story that actually makes sense. Let me tell you a story. A few months ago, I posted one data analyst job opening for an opportunity in my network. But within a day, I had well over 300 applications in my DMs. 300 people all saying the same thing. I just graduated, I know Excel, I know Python, I know SQL, I am ready to work. But you know how many were actually qualified? Less than 1%. Most didn't even have analysts in their LinkedIn profile. Their portfolios were filled with tutorial projects that looked identical to everyone else's. And when I asked basic questions like, walk me through how you'd measure customer churn, they froze. That's the reality. It's not that companies aren't hiring, it's that most aspiring analysts today are trained for the wrong job. All right, so now that we've torn down the illusion. Let's talk about what actually works today. Because here's the thing, while everyone else is panicking, there's a massive opportunity sitting right in front of you. You just need to know where to look. The data analyst role isn't disappearing, it is evolving. Companies don't want more people who can just run queries. They need people who can bridge the gap between data and decisions. People who can automate the boring stuff so they can focus on strategy. And people who can walk into a meeting and say, here's what the data says, here's what it means, and here's what we should do about it. That's the shift from technology technician to strategic partner. And here's the best part. Most people aren't making this shift, which means if you do, you instantly become a top 1% candidate. Let me show you what that looks like. If you want to stand out in 2026, you need three things, not 10, not 20, just three. I call it the pro analyst framework proof, relevance, and outcome. Let me break it down. Step one, proof. Hiring managers don't care what you say you can do, they care what you can prove. And here's the problem, most people have zero proof. They say, I know SQL, but can't show a single project where they use it to solve a real business problem. They say, I can build dashboards, but their portfolio is full of tutorial copy and paste projects that looks like everyone else's. Proof means that you have a portfolio, but not just any portfolio, a portfolio with polished dashboards that answer real business questions questions. SQL logic that's clean and well documented. Slide decks that show that you know how to communicate insights like a big four consultant. And most importantly, business outcomes. When you can show that kind of proof, recruiters don't question whether you're qualified. They ask you when you can start. All right, step two, relevance. Learn what companies actually need. Here's what people get wrong. They learn skills in a vacuum. They spend six months learning Python because someone told them it's important, but they skip SQL. They build dashboards without understanding KPIs, and they focus on tools instead of thinking. In 2026, relevance means you understand what companies actually need. And what they need is this. One, statistics and KPIs. You need to know how to measure business performance. What's an acceptable churn rate? How do you calculate customer lifetime value? If you can't answer these types of questions, you're not ready. Advanced SQL, join, CTEs, window functions, subqueries. This is a non-negotiable. SQL is a language of data, and if you can't speak it fluently, you can't do the job. Data cleaning across tools. Real world data is messy and you need to know how to handle missing values, outliers, duplicates, and inconsistencies across Excel, SQL, Tableau, Power BI, Python, and more. Problem framing. Before you even analyze anything, you need to understand the business problem. What questions are you trying to answer? What decision will this analysis drive? And if you can't frame the problem, your analysis is useless. 
Lastly, slide deck storytelling. This is a secret weapon. Most analysts can build dashboards, but very few can present insights in a way that influences executives. Learn consulting style presentations, action titles, one chart and one insight per slide, and clear recommendations. This is what I teach to my students. Skills, then business thinking, then storytelling, then SQL mastery. And when you can learn in this order, everything clicks. You're not just learning tools, you're learning how to think like an analyst. Okay, now look, I know this sounds like a lot, and if you're sitting there thinking, okay, Kadisha, I get it, but where do I start? In what exact order? How do I know if I'm even wasting time on the wrong things? I got you. I create a free training that walks you through the exact roadmap that my students and community of over 80,000 use to land data roles in six months or less without going back to school and wasting money on boot camps and courses that just don't work. Click the link in the description to access that training. If you're ever ready to work with me directly, we can talk about how to fast track your transition with real mentorship, real projects, and real results. All right, step three, outcome. Create real experience. Here's the biggest blocker I see. I don't have experience. I get it. It's a catch-22. You need experience to get hired, but you need to get hired to get experience. But here's the truth. You don't need someone to hire you to get experience. You can create it yourself. And here's how. Freelance for local nonprofits. Find a food bank, a shelter, a church, any organization that run on spreadsheets and drowning in data. Offer them 30 days of free analytics consulting. Take their messy Excel files, clean the data, analyze it, and deliver a dashboard and a slide deck with recommendations. Boom, you created your real experience. I teach this exact model Model in my program, I call it the Marketing Analytics Consulting Internship. My students work with real marketing data, build real dashboards, and create real presentations and deliver real insights to me and my team. And they add it to their resume. And you know what happens? They walk into interviews with confidence. They have stories that they can tell, and they have proof that they can deliver. And that's how you get hired. It works, but you have to be willing to do the work. All right, now let's see what this looks like in action. Imagine that you're the hiring manager and you post a data analyst job. You get 500 applications. Most of them all look the same. Google cert, basic SQL, a Tableau dashboard with Netflix data. Then you see one resume that stands out. This person has a resume with three high impact projects. Each project not only has a polished dashboard, but also a consulting style slide deck. And each project shows business outcomes. Who do you think is gonna get the interview? That's the difference. That is what the pro framework does. It transforms you from just another applicant to we need to hire this person immediately. Okay, so here's something that most people don't understand. It's not about learning every tool. It's not about collecting certificates. It's about learning the right sequence of skills and proving that you can think like an analyst. Analysts who master problem solving, business logic, and communication will outlast automation and AI. Tutorial followers won't. AI can write code, AI can even build charts now, but it cannot understand business context. It can't ask the right questions, and it can't walk into a boardroom and influence a million dollar decision. That's your edge, and that's what makes you irreplaceable. And if you focus on building your edge, you'll never have to worry about the job market again. So if you wanna get hired as a data analyst in 2026, now you know what you must do. So stop waiting for permission and start building the skills that actually matter. And if you wanna learn more about those skills that you need, watch this next video.